Hello and welcome to Kafka tutorial at Learning Journal. We have learned quite a lot about Kafka subscribers, but in this session we will study how to take full control of your Kafka subscriber. So let's start. In our earlier sessions, we learned about two things that are managed by Kafka: automatic group management and partition assignment. And the second thing is offset and consumer positions control let me quickly recap both of these things we already learned that to become a member of a group you just need to provide a group name and subscribe to the topics that's it and kafka will make you a member of a consumer group but have you thought about it why do you want to become a member of a group what are the benefits of creating a consumer group you know the answer right it gives you following advantages allows you to parallel process a topic automatically manages partition assignment detects entry exit and failure of consumers and perform partition rebalance activity correct okay so most of the time you want all of these features but there is a downside of automatic partition assignment and that downside is that you don't have control over the partition assignment i mean you can't decide which partitions will be assigned to which consumer kafka takes that decision so if you have built a solution with custom partitioning strategy and you want to make use of the custom partitioning this automatic partition assignment will create problems for you to understand it in a better way i have to take you back to my custom partitioning example you remember we used a custom partitioner to make sure that all the data for tss sensor will land into first three partitions you have this system in place for collecting data now you have a real time statistics calculation requirement for tss sensor so you need to create a consumer that reads only tss data and calculates required statistics making sense pause the video and think about it can you solve this problem one way is that you read all of the data and discard everything else except tss and then calculate your stats but you don't want to do unnecessary work after all it is a real time system and every millisecond counts you might be thinking that you should have created a separate topic for tss then it was easy right you just subscribe to tss topic and rest is simple but this system was designed in this way for a reason and now you don't have a luxury of redesigning it you can find a solution easily if you have the flexibility to create a consumer and assign these three partitions to yourself that's it your consumer will read these three partitions and rest will be simple i think this example makes a point that in certain use cases you may need the flexibility to take control of partition assignment instead of relying on kafka to do a random assignment I'll show you a relevant code example in a minute but let me come back to offset management and consumer positioning as well so we already know that kafka maintains a current offset and a committed offset for each consumer we have also seen an example for rebalance listener where we take partial control over the offset i'm not sure if you already noticed that we still have a problem in that implementation let me take you back to that example and explain the problem so this is the consumer that we created just look at the for loop so this step is to process the record and save the results in the database then in the next step we keep the offset because we finished processing this message and we will commit this offset later right but these are two operations and they are not atomic it is possible that we save the record in the database 
and my consumer crashes before committing the offset so the rebalance listener will allow us to perform cleanup and commit before the partition goes away but it cannot help us in syncing the processed record and committed offset there is no other way to achieve it except making save to database and commit offset as a single atomic transaction okay so now we understand that we may have use cases where we need to take full control of two things partition assignment that means we don't want kafka to assign partitions to different consumers we want to take the control and assign partitions committed offset management that means we don't want kafka to store the offset so how to do this let's create an example so i will create a consumer that will assign these three partitions to itself then it will start reading all messages from these three partitions and insert each message into a database table it will not commit the offset back to kafka instead it will update the current offset into another database table the insert and update statements will be part of a single transaction so either both will complete or both will fail i will use mysql as a database for this demo so if you don't have mysql installed and configured you can follow my instructions okay so first of all we need to install mysql server this yum command will download and install mysql server So installation is over let's start the server mysql service is up now let's make it secure this command will help you to set up password for the root account okay now we can start mysql command line tool good now we need to do following things create a database create a table to insert tss sensor data create a table to update tss offsets insert three rows for each tss partition for initial offset values i created a simple sql script to do all of this this is a simple script and i assume it doesn't require any explanation so let's execute it okay done let me check if the script works good so we have the table but no data inside the table the consumer will insert the data so we wanted an empty table let's test the offset table right so we have initial offset set to 0 so the consumer should start reading from the beginning and keep updating as it reads now it's time to look at the consumer code okay so as always we set up a properties and then instantiate a kafka consumer object other than mandatory properties we have an additional property this property will disable the auto commit feature and the consumer will not commit offsets automatically back to kafka broker if we want automatic group management we should subscribe to the topic and kafka will automatically assign partitions to the consumer but in this example we don't want kafka to assign partitions to us so we create three partition objects one each for the three partitions that we want to read then we self assign these three partitions good so the first part is taken care we have three partitions and we are ready to read data from these three partitions so the next thing is to adjust the offset so these three lines of code will set the offset position for three partitions the get offset from db will read offset positions from mysql database the current values in the database are 0 so it will return 0 
That's it. We are all set. We assigned partitions and we adjusted offset to appropriate positions. All we need to do is read and process. This loop will keep polling Kafka till we are getting records. The save and commit method will save each record in the database and also update offsets. The code for save and commit is plain JDBC code. We set auto commit false, insert data, update offset, and finally execute commit. So, this makes it an atomic transaction and we can achieve exactly one's processing scenario. Kafka efficiently provides us at least one processing, but to achieve exactly one's processing, we need to do some extra work as we did in this example. So, let's execute this example and understand the behavior. I already have sensor topic and producer code. I created it as part of the example explained in the earlier video. Let's run the producer and send some messages so that the consumer can read it. I need to execute this one. Ok, done. I have these 10 records for the consumer to read. If you look at the partition information, only one record landed on partition number 2. 5 records on partition 0, 4 messages on partition 1. Now, it's time to execute our consumer. Right, so this is the current offset position for my consumer. But we want to read all 3 partitions from the beginning. So, we set these offsets to 0. Then we start fetching the records. The first poll gives 6 records. Second time, 4 messages. And then 0. That's it. Let's check what do we have in the database. I want to validate if the offsets are updated correctly. Good. So, offset for partition 0 is updated as 5. That means, when I re-execute my consumer, it will start reading partition 0 from the offset 5. And similarly, partition 1 from offset 4 and partition 2 from offset 1. In this session, we learn to take control of partition assignment and offset management from Apache Kafka. Automatic group and offset management are convenient options, but by taking control in our hand, we have all the power to support complex requirements. That's it for this session. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again in the next session. Thank you for watching Learning Journal. Keep learning and keep growing.